Hey guys, and welcome to episode one of New World. Um, I am so fucking excited about this game. Um, I've been waiting for it for a very long time. I've been wanting to get into MMOs for a while now, and it's just seemed so uh, so scary trying to get into MMOs right now because like the big hitters for MMOs would be. Uh, wow or Neverwinter or games that have been out for so long that it'd be you'd be starting from the far far back and New World is such a new a new style of game or a new style of MMO where you'll feel like I actually have a fighting chance to be good at this game and to not seem like such a noob um, yeah I'm really really hyped for this game and hopefully that you guys enjoy it um, trying to get some episodic content out um, this is the beta for new world since i did pre-order the game uh there will be a little bit of the beta i am so excited and i am glad you guys are here and joining me for this journey all right here we go should be a good one See that first cutscene looked so good. Like, it gave me uh, Dungeons and Dragons feels. Like walking into a tavern, seeing the shady guy in the corner getting a quest style of thing. It was super cool. And then the lock. That was the next biggest thing that just that popped out to me. How is the magical lock? He just opened it with his thumb. That was clean. I like that a lot. Um, I am totally awful with designing characters and stuff like that so i'm just going to fast forward through this and you will see the finished uh finished product when i come back all right and welcome back um, this is what i've decided to come up with like a more washed up lost on an island style of things i think that's the direction that we're going we're sailing to an island sailor so i'm assuming we're part of that guy's crew from the story I'm not totally sure, but this is the end look that I've come up with. Um, I like it. I'm going to go with it. Hmm.
Hey guys, welcome back. I had a little bit of technical difficulties that are cleared up with the game now, so uh let's get it. Hopefully everything's cleared up now. Yeah, this game it feels like it hasn't been popular enough. It's, it looks fantastic. It's been in production for so long. Um, Amazon is the company who's making it. Um, shout out to them. The cinematic so far has looked amazing. Hopefully the game follows through. It doesn't fall apart. But so far it looks awesome. I'm super excited. up in the island. That doesn't look too bad. This actually looks really good. Very clean. And was to move. Closer. Your captain needs you. That devil storm. What in the nine hells was that about? And where is my box? I need my box. Did you take it? You build rat. I don't have your box. Something isn't right. To come so close. It's not fair. What what's happening to me? I can't die. Not like this. I mean, still moving. Still alive, right? <laughs> Take it back. That's cool. What do you have? Or not shield, light ration. We have the inventory. It's a large health pool. There's stamina and the mana. Right. Looks like I have just the basic stuff, you know. Bond the island. It is what it is. So I took some damage. Gonna heal up. Pressing that. Cool. Can't loot the guy I killed before. I not a huge fan of the jumping. I like being able to jump high. Um, just me and like the movement with games. Um, yeah. Jumping in this feels rather clanky. It's hopefully it's not a big mechanic that's gonna have to use. Another one over there. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. This is one of the games where I'm just so excited to get into it that <laughs> I feel like I'm just like rushing some of the stuff already. But we'll see what happens. Look out over there. Get a big hit in. Another big hit, another hit. Can I help? Mantle, what's this? Quick and skill of walls. Okay. I'm done with that. A little bit of a tutorial. Okay, this guy. Drawn soldier, level one, has a shield. Looks scary. Has a combo attack. Drink the damage already. Nice. Sword and Shield Mastery. Purchase upgrade. Yes, please. Oh, look at all this stuff. Okay. Stick with what I can see. <laughs> oh, man. This makes me want to nerd out over this already. Oh, man. I am a very aggressive style 
I think I should go with Sword Master. Deal 145 weapon damage to all foes within 2 meters. Whirling Blade. Means I can them. Alright. It's my Q attack. Me, uh, coming from Overwatch. Having a Q attack is, uh, second nature. I like it. Aw, oh, it looks sick. Auto run. Equals. Shit, I never use that. Okay, yeah, fair enough. I can't really see myself using that a lot. Maybe in higher levels when I'm just running from place to place, I already know. But right now, lower level game, don't see myself really using it. I don't know, I could be totally wrong. Never played an MO. You guys let me know. Oh, that's. That's pretty. some uh, brown soldiers in there. I like the music too. It's all like very music and mood. Even the loading screens look fucking pretty, dude. It's crazy. I'm so excited to be able to get a rifle or something like that. I've never been really big into melee fighters in any game, but melee in this feels pretty good. It's something, it's definitely a learning curve, something I have to learn. Um, yeah. I was taking hits I shouldn't have been taking. I'll get better. A long load. Escape the watchtower. Right. So on the bottom of the screen, it looks like that's where my XP is. Not a survivor. <laughs> Saints be praised. It's always good to find a live one. That storm was fierce. Figured it would drown the lot of you. These people just Me? live on the oh, island. I'm Charity. A uh, watcher, Douglas, from the Monarch's Bluff settlement. And who do I have the pleasure of meeting today? Well, I know this isn't the best way to make an acquaintance, but it's actually the way most people arrive here. I suppose you're still wondering where here is. 
You've washed ashore on the Isle of Eternum. It's hard for me to even remember the old world these days, but I know it was very different. <laughs> You've washed ashore on the oh, Isle of Eternum. On the good side, we generally don't ever age or die here. At least, not in any natural way. On the bad side, there's what happened with the rest of your crew. Well, see, they came back to life, but without their souls. They're wandering around the beach all aimless-like. The kind thing is to at least try and put them down for good. Would you mind? So I'm supposed to go and, uh... Murder my undead crew. I mean, it's not like I'm their captain. I probably was just signed on for a little bit, but sure. Why not? I wouldn't be against that. Gotta kill three of them. Is there a map? There is. Alright. So that's where I'm supposed to. It looks like it's to the west or west. There's no mini map. So, it's going to take me a second to locate all of my bearings to figure out where I'm supposed to be going. Ah, go under the backpack system and wait. Yeah, there is. So, the more stuff I take on, the worse it'll be. Equip the pants or the boots that I got. Hey, ain't bad. Not good, but. over there. Ah. Did I miss something? Did I not start the quest correctly? It's an icky task, isn't it? But it's part of life here on Eternum. Mm. Yeah, I'm good with reading maps, guys. Don't worry about it. Let's get it. I'm gonna attack. Just gonna wanna. I wonder how much damage do this do that you want. Okay, I need to anticipate that. I can't reactionary try to block stuff. I need to be anticipating their attacks. So I wonder if I take a big swing on this guy, swing more time, and block. Yeah, there we go. So if it's glowing like that, it's a chest I can move. No. Investigate the shipwreck mark in the map. Mind if I do make some loot over here. Oh, sir. Here we go. What is it? Life staff. What's this? Melee weapon looks like. Cool. Get out of here. Oh, I just literally had to walk a little bit away. Yeah. Whoops. This map. Oh, wow. Yeah, this map is huge. I've intentionally stayed away from a lot of the spoilers and stuff like that, trying to not not be spoiled by anything. I've watched a couple of the trailers, but that's pretty much it. 
So everything that I'm seeing here is first, first time for that I'm seeing it. It's awesome. Challenge of Tune found in Monarch's Bluffs Watchtower. As I rest here, watching the waves crash upon the breach, I reminisce about my old life. I was budding <laughs> antiquarian. The stories of the past and the people that made those stories so real to me drove me to this island through first the hardships of the island. Though, at first, the hardship of the island made my outlook on surviving here bleak. My tune has changed. To be honest, the Vix board recommended me to be the watcher. I didn't understand why anyone would do this job. But over time, all right, all right, investigating all right. the ships, talking to the new folk, and aiding them after crashing into the island, hearing their stories, piecing together their past, and helping them figure out the future on this island, it scratches an itch. I'll thank Vix board next time I'm in the settlement. Fighting the drowned, no one loves every part of a job, I suppose. Interesting. So, seems like this person got driven to the island, and this person named Vixford. I know you didn't enjoy that. But once their souls are gone, it's the most you can do for them. I wish I could say you eventually get used to it, but you don't. Not really. I mean, I didn't do this. Fighting is fun. Oh, Grinding, dear. I guess. Where are your old manners, Charity? I'm sorry. After everything you've been through today, you're probably starving, aren't you? Sure. I didn't think to bring anything. But I can show you how to make do. Get some flint and wood, then make yourself a skinning knife at the fire. That's a start, at least. Alright. So I need to figure out where to find wood. Assuming it'll be like a tree or a that guy. Oh, you must kill the boar. Interesting. He's picking the man. A church tree. So need a young tree. And an axe. Yeah, no axe. Greenwood. your skinning knife, eh? It's not exactly pretty, but it'll do the job. I mean, don't feel bad. I've certainly seen worse. Oh, thanks. Jeez. All right. Now that, that you've bad. got your little knife, you can rustle up a meal. There's lots oh, of boar about. Hunt one down, skin it, roast the meat on the fire, and that should tide you over. Pick yourself a fat one if you can. This is actually a good hunting spot. All right. I mean, sure, Cartridges. which one looks fatter? I think this close one looks faster. I'm assuming they'll attack back, but. <laughs> Clips inside of him, perfect hiding spot. You'll never see it coming. Rawhide. So, like rations. Since I have three, and those seem to be good for eating, I'm healing myself. Cold beans. Cold beach like this. Oh, nothing like a warm meal by the fire. I bet you're glad you took the time. I hope it doesn't seem like life is just a misery here. Some people quite like it. 
And the weather here in Monarch's Bluffs is nice. Most of the time. Not most of the time. And most of us don't even age. It's something to do with the blue Azoth. It's just not always predictable. Some age, some don't, some die, some don't. And then some come back as corrupted or lost. Huh. I'm afraid so. That was a freak storm that wrecked your ship. All these ships. I mean, it's corruption that causes storms off the coast all the time. That was the worst I've ever seen. It's that nasty red stuff, kind of... an evil magic. Being corrupted is even worse than being lost. The corruption forms a ring around a turner and smashes any ships approaching. Storms are just a fact of life here. The best we can do is keep records of all the ships corruption claims. In fact, if you could scrub these ships for any keepsakes, the settlement will want them. Sure. <laughs> Looting quest. But I think that uh, I'm going to leave it there for today. Um, keep these episodes nice and short. Just some early quests. But first look at the game. I'm really impressed. Uh, it is everything that I was hoping it would be. I'm super excited. I don't want to stop, but uh, I'm going to leave it here. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, give me any comments, suggestions. Tell me that you liked it or didn't like it down in the comments. And uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.